Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave Let us pray. Eternal Father, strong to save, ever-present source of all our days, and especially today, as we pause in the excitement of this commencement, we turn our minds and our hearts to you in this moment. We stand here, each one, from a great diversity of people and study, representing the best in effort and achievement, united in study and common cause, eager to apply that knowledge in service. Thank you for the strength and perseverance you have given to each student. Through long hours of study, writing, and preparing for class, Lord, they have demonstrated what it takes to hear these words, well done. As our graduates mark this great milestone in their personal and professional lives, may your understanding be with them, lead them into positions of leadership and influence for the good with the knowledge and insight gained through their studies. Let the short space of time in which we honor their achievement be remembered and nurtured in mind and spirit as they go forth and accomplish what you have set before them. Help them at last to do this with boldness and confidence. I ask this now in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Captain Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. For these graduates, today marks a momentous milestone as they walk the stage and turn their tassels, symbolizing that their diligence has transformed them to seek life's next adventure. Their academic journey included their abilities to overcome staggering challenges with balancing careers, active duty service, family, and classes. Through this commencement is a culmination of an academic degree. These graduates are left with an ethos of service, dedication, and perseverance to lifelong learning. For the Marine Corps, today marks success. As actively supported by General Eric M. Smith, 39th Commandant of the Marine Corps, and his predecessor, General David H. Berger, we must make the most of every opportunity because continuous learning is critically important to the profession of arms. This philosophy of learning is not a new concept to the Corps. 
from General John A. Lejeune's charge to emphasize the importance of knowledge to the next generation's Marines, to General James N. Mattis admitting that the most important six inches on the battlefield is between your ears. The Marines that are graduating today are pillars to carrying out this Marine Corps philosophy. Graduates, family, friends, and guests, on behalf of Marine Corps Community Services, please welcome our host and guest speaker, Colonel Ralph J. Rizzo, Jr., Commander, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base, Camp Lejeune. Good afternoon, folks. Thank you. Um, first, before we get started, I'd like to ask for, for one more recognition and round of applause for our band and for Mr. Samuel Lewis for that great rendition of the National Anthem, please. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to all our distinguished guests, family, friends, and our 2024 graduates to today's 29th annual off-duty voluntary education ceremony. I had a chance to, to, to spend some time with all of, all of the, the folks graduating uh, this afternoon outside during pictures, and, and I'll tell you what, what an exciting, exciting time it was and what a great group to have with us here tonight. Um, as we recognize our graduates for their hard work, commitment, and perseverance in obtaining their post-secondary degrees, ranging from associates, bachelors, masters, and doctorate's degrees. Your pledge to self-improvement is not only a reflection of your dedication and hard work, but to that of your support network seated here tonight, and the many, many more who couldn't be here this evening with us. They say it takes a village, and as I look out this afternoon, I see the community that supports you, encourages you, and is here tonight to share in your celebrated academic accomplishments. With that, I'd like to start by recognizing the many unsung heroes behind the scenes of the off-duty voluntary education program. As our announcer says, our commandant and all our senior leaders fully support off-duty education. Uh, and that's very indicative of the MCCS commitment uh, that, that belongs with this, this night and getting our graduates to this point. Those people who work tirelessly to facilitate this opportunity for our service members and civilian employees and our family members. From the team at Marine Corps Community Services to our participating colleges, universities, and higher education platforms that support off-duty education, to those spouses and family members who encourage and supported their efforts while holding down the fort. I want to thank you for your continued commitment to our Marines, sailors, and civilian teammates. So please, join me in a round of applause for those devoted folks as they serve to empower our service members to achieve new heights in personal growth, which make our armed services stronger and more lethal on today's advanced battlefields. As was said by a former Secretary of Defense, we need to first engage our mind before our weapon in today's fight. And that's what tonight's graduates rep represent for us. As we look out at our graduates this evening, I see active duty, retirees, veterans, family members, and civilians, all of whom endured tremendous sacrifice to be here tonight. Many balanced military duties, deployments, PCS moves, single parenthood, and full-time work and family and life commitments in pursuit of their higher education goals. Many overcame obstacles few of us will know, like physical and mental health challenges associated with military service. Adult learners, including first-generation college students, and hurdles like English as a second language and adopting a new technology skills and methods of learning. I want to commend you for taking these obstacles head on, for vaulting over these hurdles, and for embracing change to better yourselves. Our armed services, our communities, and our country as a whole. Your achievement 
on off-duty time serves to inspire us all to pursue greater heights as we strive to be students of our warfighting craft. As I salute your efforts this evening, I invite you now, students and graduates, to stand and salute the efforts of your individual support networks with a round of applause, please. Thank you. In conclusion, as we recognize your impressive accomplishments this evening, I challenge you to continue your pursuit of excellence on your educational journey, even as we celebrate this momentous occasion tonight. As Marines, we are built to always run towards the sound of the guns and to do the hard stuff and to constantly strive to better ourselves in our warfighting organizations. It's in our blood. We don't stop at the top of the hill to celebrate. We use the top of the hill to see the next hill we want to climb. We always look for the next challenge. I offer that you never stop learning and growing as individuals contributing to the team. And no matter what you choose to do, that you always continue to do it to the best of your ability while simultaneously congratulating you all this evening. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Congratulations again to our graduates in Semper Fidelis. Thank you, Commander. Those graduating today are representing institutions of higher learning that understand the value of adult learning and they comprise a culture of intellectual reflection and a capacity for critical exploration that can only contribute to our community's success. Today's graduates are graduating from the following institutions of higher learning. American Military University, Arizona State University, Campbell University, Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary. Coastal Carolina Community College, Colorado State University System, Columbia Southern University, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Excelsior University, Grand Canyon University, Indiana Institute of Technology, Liberty University, Missouri Southern State University, National University, New England College, Purdue University Global, Southern New Hampshire University, University of Alabama at Birmingham, University of Arizona Global Campus, University of Charleston, University of Maryland Global Campus, University of North Carolina Greensboro, and Webster University. At this time, awards will be presented to those graduating with associate degrees. Those graduating with associate degrees, please stand and approach the stage.
associate degrees are granted for the successful completion of sub-baccalaureate programs of study, and they usually require at least two years of full-time college-level study. Other associate programs can be granted to meet the qualifications towards a specific profession or professional trade. Michael Allen Teal, retired, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Associates of Arts Information Technology Management, Campbell University. <laughs> Eliza Loyola, retired, United States Navy, Senior Chief Petty Officer, Associate in Arts, with honors, Coastal Carolina Community College. <laughs> Ryan Chavez, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Associate in Arts, with honors, Coastal Carolina Community College. Randy D. Christina, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Associate of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies, American Military University. <laughs> April Brooke Barraza, military spouse, United States Marine Corps, Associate in Applied Science Office Administration, Coastal Carolina Community College. <laughs> Kyrie Hall, veteran, DOD employee, United States Marine Corps, Associate of Arts in General Studies, University of Maryland Global Campus. Perseus Solomon Westbrooks, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Associate of Arts in General Studies, University of Maryland Global Campus. <laughs> Ramon Anthony Golding, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Associate in Science in Aeronautics, 3.53 GPA, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. <laughs> James Christensen, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Associate of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies, 3.9 GPA, American Military University. Rosa Santori, military spouse, United States Marine Corps, associate in arts, Coastal Carolina Community College. David Duran, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Associate in Arts, Coastal Carolina Community College. Patrick will now provide the confirmation of conferred degrees. Upon recommendation of the administration, board of trustees or directors, deans and faculty, I have confirmed that you have satisfactorily completed the course requirements of the associate degree, associate in applied science degree, diploma, or certificate, and are entitled to all rights honors and privileges thereto appertaining. 
Congratulations, graduates. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Associate level graduates, please be seated. Those graduating with baccalaureate degrees, please stand and approach the stage. degrees are granted for the successful completion of baccalaureate programs of study, usually requiring at least four years of full-time college-level study. Jared Ott, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant Bachelor of Science, Sports and Health Sciences with a concentration in exercise science, cum laude, American Military University. <laughs> Jonathan Schaefer, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Corporal, 
Bachelor of Arts, General Studies, Southern New Hampshire University. Jamie Bentley, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Science, Interdisciplinary Studies, Liberty University. <laughs> Cody Roy Bolton, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Science, Computer Networks and Cybersecurity, summa cum laude, University of Maryland Global Campus. <laughs> Stephen A. Lewis, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology Network Administration, magna cum laude, Purdue Global University. Victoria Lee Ward, Active Duty, United States Army, Sergeant First Class, Bachelor of Science in Applied Management, Grand Canyon University. <laughs> Scott Livington, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Bachelor of Science Information Technology and Security in Information Security. Magna Cum Laude, Campbell University. <laughs> Cal Wilson, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts, History, with a concentration in American History. 3.58 GPA, American Military University. Christopher Quinlan, Active Duty, Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies, 3.48 GPA, American Military University. Arliss Luna, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Social and Criminal Justice, magna cum laude, the University of Arizona Global Campus. <laughs> Allison Dulaney Ennett, DOD Civilian, Marine Corps Community Services, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, University of North Carolina at Greensboro. <laughs> Amanda Daugherty, Military Spouse, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Science in Allied Health with a concentration in Health Informatics. Magna Cum Laude, National University. <laughs> Andrew S. Morales, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Homeland Security, 3.82 GPA, Columbia Southern University. Charles Green, veteran, United States Marine Corps, bachelor's in management with a concentration in entrepreneurship, American Military University. Winstel, Winstel. Okay. Michaela Winstel, military spouse, United States Navy, bachelor of arts in psychology, 3.9 GPA, Southern New Hampshire University. <laughs> Ms.
Mark Anthony Calderon, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Management, magna cum laude, American Military University. Kamar. Kamar and Andre Mitchell, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts, Criminal Justice, with a concentration in organizational law enforcement leadership, magna cum laude, American Military University. <laughs> Philip Joseph Bender, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Transportation and Logistics Management, magna cum laude, American Military University. <laughs> Terrence Williams, Jr., active duty, United States Army, Staff Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, magna cum laude, Grand Canyon University. Amanda Richards, spouse, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Arts in Communication with Concentration in New Media, Southern New Hampshire University. Paulette Melton, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Professional Studies in Business and Management, Magna Cum Laude, Excelsior University. <laughs> Debbie Cupid, active duty spouse and DOD employee, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, 4.0 GPA, Southern New Hampshire University. Haley Sanchez, military spouse, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Arts in History, 3.69 GPA, University of Maryland Global Campus. <laughs> Joseph Smith, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, 3.7 GPA, University of Maryland Global Campus. Is Boset, Rendonare, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership, 4.0 GPA, University of Charleston. <laughs> Madison Thomas, active duty, United States Navy, Hospital Corpsman, second class, Bachelor of Science in Health Science Paramedic Program, Missouri Southern State University. Nathaniel Brian Smith, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Business, Cum Laude, American Military University. <laughs> Colton Johnson, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts, Intelligence Studies, American Military University. Cesare Contreras, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Science, Sports and Health Science, with concentration in Fitness and Wellness Professional Studies, 3.4 GPA, American Military University. <laughs> David Leroy Cheney, Jr., active duty, 
United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Computer Networks and Cybersecurity Management, University of Maryland Global Campus. Derek M. Brin, retired, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Arts, Supply Chain Management, magna cum laude, American Military University. Joseph Bell Gutierrez, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Chief Warrant Officer 3, Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, American Military University. <laughs> Colby Staples, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Homeland Security, 3.73 GPA, American Military University. Perla, Veridiana Valdez Hinojas, DOD employee, Marine Corps Community Services, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Campbell University. <laughs> Lawrence Wren, retired, United States Marine Corps, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Management with a minor in Accounting, University of Maryland Global Campus. Jason Cuellusule, Veteran, United States Marine Corps, Sergeant, Bachelor of Arts in Homeland Security, American Military University. Richard Nathaniel Lecompte, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Captain, Bachelor of Arts, Transportation and Logistics Management, magna cum laude, American Military University. Ryan Fox, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Project Management, magna cum laude, Colorado State University System. Twerg. Twerg. Okay. Mark William Twerg, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, cum laude, Purdue Global University. Raven St. Louis, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Purdue University Global. <laughs> Joseph McNichols, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, 4.0 GPA, Southern New Hampshire University. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Barnett, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, 4.0 GPA, Southern New Hampshire University. Patrick will now provide the confirmation of conferred degrees. Upon recommendation of the administration, deans and faculty, I have confirmed that you have satisfactorily completed the course requirements of the baccalaureate degree and are entitled to all rights, honors, and privileges thereto appertaining. 
Congratulations, graduates. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Level graduates, please be seated. Those graduating with master degrees, please stand and approach the stage. degrees are awarded for successful completion of programs generally requiring one or two years of full-time college level study beyond the baccalaureate level. One type of master's degree, including the Master of Arts degree or the Master of Science degree, is awarded in the liberal arts and sciences for advanced scholarship in a subject field or discipline and demonstrated ability to perform scholarly research. A second type of master's degree is awarded for the completion of a professionally oriented program. Melissa Maribel, spouse, United States Marine Corps, Master of Arts in Management and Leadership in Human Resource Management, Webster University. Tina Outlaw Waters, military spouse, DOD employee, and Army veteran, United States Marine Corps, Master of Business Administration in Human Resources Management Specialization, National University. Shaniqua Folks, active duty. United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Master of Science in Healthcare Administration, Summa Cum Laude, American Military University. Dorsimus. Mark Dorsimus, Active Duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Sergeant, 
Master of Arts in Intelligence Studies, American Military University. <laughs> Yvonne Reese, veteran, active duty spouse, United States Navy, Master of Public Health with a concentration in environmental and occupational health, 4.0 GPA, the University of Alabama at Birmingham. <laughs> Emmanuel Boyd, active duty, Army National Guard, first lieutenant, Master of Science in Organizational Leadership, 3.9 GPA, Indiana Institute of Technology University. <laughs> Timothy J. Cruz, Jr., active duty, United States Marine Corps, Staff Sergeant, Master of Education in Learning Design and Technologies, 4.0 GPA, Arizona State University. Orlando David Reyes, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Master Gunnery Sergeant, Master of Arts in Organizational Management, 4.0 GPA, the University of Arizona Global Campus. <laughs> Geraldi Vallet, active duty, United States Marine Corps, Gunnery Sergeant, Master of Business Administration, 4.0 GPA with high distinction, Liberty University. <laughs> Leticia Green Grant, spouse, United States Marine Corps, Master of Education in Curriculum and Instruction, General Education, Liberty University. Melissa Priscilla Nieves, veteran, United States Marine Corps, Master of Business Administration and Master of Arts, Human Resource Development, Webster University. <laughs> Shannon Hubert, spouse, United States Marine Corps, Master of Arts in Teaching, Elementary Education, Liberty University. Jason Frank Murphy, active duty, United States Marine Corps, major, Master of Business Administration in Strategic Leadership, 4.0 GPA, New England College. Mr. Fitzpatrick will now provide the confirmation of conferred degrees. Upon recommendation of the administration, deans and faculty, I have confirmed that you have satisfactorily completed the course requirements of the master's degree and are entitled to all rights, honors, and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Please turn your tassels from left to right. Level graduates, please be seated. At today's ceremony, we are privileged to offer the hooding of doctoral candidates, recognizing doctoral degrees to celebrate the impressive achievement of the graduates and to reflect on the promise of the future that they represent. Those graduating with a doctorate degree have earned the highest academic degree in United States post-secondary education and have achieved the highest level of degree that can be earned in a professional field. Doctoral degrees can take four or more years to complete, and most programs require a doctoral dissertation that demonstrates the student's ability to research and support a specialized topic.
Margaret C. Benjamin, DOD employee, Marine Corps Community Services, Doctor of Education, Community Care in Counseling Traumatology, Liberty University. Growing up in a time of war, exploring the psychological flexibility of adults raised in the military community. <laughs> Eliud Amwange, active duty, United States Navy, Chaplain Corps, yeah. Lieutenant, Doctor of Ministry, Charlotte Christian College and Theological Seminary. <laughs> the cause of the leadership conflict in Southeast Kenya, field of SDA Church in Kenya, 2017 to 2023. All class of 2024 graduates, please stand. Would everyone please join in a round of applause for all of our 2024 graduates. gentlemen, please rise for the closing prayer by Captain Riley and remain standing for Anchors Away in the Marines Hymn. Let us pray. Most holy and gracious one, I thank you again for the wisdom you grant to those who seek, and especially for each graduate gathered before us. For the supportive words from family, friends, peers, and faculty who have taught much more than curricula, may you be blessed. For each person so acknowledged today, as well as all present, we commend these virtues we hold in esteem, honor for hard work with discipline, and the deep sense of accomplishment that comes with completing academic courses with excellence, courage to stay the sometimes difficult course, and the commitment each one has demonstrated, and which is now seen clearly in the fruit of their labor. As we now leave this great hall with a renewed sense of purpose and direction, whether graduate, family, or friend, may your peace be with us, Lord. May your grace shine in us, and may your strength be evident in all that we do. I ask this now in your holy name. Amen. Amen.
to Colonel Rizzo, Captain Riley, Mr. Fitzpatrick, and all of the event personnel, we humbly thank you for your support. Out of respect for the distinguished guests and honored graduates, please remain at your seats until they have exited. Thank you for attending.